Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about delimitations in research. This video will be useful for BSc nursing students, MSc nursing students as well as post basic BSc nursing students. This video is also useful for anyone who is doing research in various disciplines. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. The content what we are going to discuss in this video is delimitation. Already I have posted a video on delimitation and limitation. If you have not watched those video, I have given the link in description box as well as suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist BSc Nursing 4th Year Nursing Research and Statistics for more nursing research and statistics related videos. Suppose if they are going to ask delimitation for 5 marks, the content what I am going to discuss in this video is more than enough. Let's move on to the topic. Delimitations are in essence the limitations consciously set by the authors themselves. So here the researchers at the beginning of the study they will be setting what? They will be setting some delimitations. They are concerned with the definitions that the researcher decide to set as the boundaries or limit of their work so that the studies aim and objectives do not become impossible to achieve. In this respect it can be argued that delimitations are in the researchers control so in order to control the research study to make it more practicability and feasible at the beginning of the study as i have told earlier the researcher will be formulating the g limitations for the study in various aspects so let's see the d limitation definition d limitations are boundaries that are set by the researcher in order to control the range of a study they are created before any investigations are carried out in order to reduce the amount of time or effort spent in certain unnecessary and perhaps even unrelated areas to the overall study. So as I have told earlier what is delimitation it is said by the researcher why they are doing why they, why the researcher is setting the delimitation in order to have a control over the total study and also the researcher by setting the delimitation he can curtail his study towards a particular area of study geographical area or towards a particular patients or towards a time duration. So so he can save time, money, personal and he can also uh, he can also save his uh, uh, time as well as uh, whatever is necessary can be done within a limited period of our time by setting this delimitation so that unnecessary areas and uh, or unnecessary topics uh, or unnecessary data collections and all you will not do so that uh, you can very well generalize your findings the characteristics of delimitation so first thing what and all should come in delimitation confinement of a particular geographical area or study or study center see um suppose if i want to do a study on diabetes mellitus patients i cannot do for all the patients who are existing in the world or in a country or in a state so i am uh, delimiting myself to a particular hospital say for example a government hospital at a particular area next under the, even that government hospital also during this uh, study period for a period of one month uh, whoever is attending a medical OPD like that I can take it off. So the population which the researcher is not studying, so which population he is studying and which population he is not studying. Uh, defining the restrictions about sampling technique or sample size. So what sampling technique can be done and what sample size uh, is needed. Okay. So uh, why he has not selected some other sampling technique? Uh, why he has been limited to only this particular amount of sample size? Everything uh, he can delimit it. And the Population, uh, one example I like to do, give, suppose uh, if I am going to assess the uh, pain and mobility status of osteoarthritis clients, uh, so uh, I am taking it as a criteria, uh, patients who are receiving only pain medications like Oviron and uh, Paracetamol and who are not uh, having any other uh, additional uh, therapies like uh, Ayurveda or Siddha or Unani or Homeopathy like that, so I am not taking those patients so whoever the patients i am taking they are all only on these two pain supplements like a paracetamol or bovira so in this way i can delimit uh, myself with regard to the sample what i am going to take it off so the literature what you are not including the methodological procedures what you are not including and the um, 
tools or instruments of data collection what you are not including everything should be delimited you have to set in delimitations next uses of delimitation what are the uses of delimitation so it clearly defines the scope of the study it avoids uh, ambiguity ambiguity means vague uh, about the research uh, study so uh, what what uh, what scope uh, with the what focus you have you are doing the study everything will be very clear if you are going to set the delimitation so that it avoids a uh, uh, unnecessary ambiguity or unclarity okay make the research study more feasible and practicable by setting the delimitations you are making it more the research more approachable feasible and also to practicable to conduct the study define the boundaries of the selected study parameters such as geographic location geographic location which area you are going to do and the age sometimes you will be doing only up to 40 to 60 years like that age limitation gender for only females or males you are delimiting and population characteristic general characteristics of the population population size the sample size study instruments or tools used everything you will be delimiting so you can you, you can clearly proceed with the study you have a clear cut idea of what to do in the study so identify the constraints or weakness of the study so that strengthening of evidences generated through the study may be determined so you can identify both the strength and weakness of the study so that uh, when you are generalizing the findings uh, it will be very useful so usually he the researcher mentions the delimitation even in the first chapter so that the reader can have a better idea what and all the researcher has included in the study and what and all he has excluded from the study so that based on that uh, he, the the uh, findings can be uh, generalized uh, to the general population so types of delimitation you have theoretical delimitation and methodological delimitation in theoretical delimitation they restrict the ability of the research findings to generalize because of the use of specific theoretical concepts so in theoretical delimitation uh, you are using a specific theoretical concept and you are delimiting it uh, so here you can uh, set all these things through your operational definitions which you will be again are uh, dealing in first chapter then methodological delimitation they usually research from some of the method Methodological factors such as uh, unrepresentative sample, weak design, single setting, limited control over extraneous variables, poor implementation of treatment protocol. So everything uh, uh, can be represented in methodological delimitation. Suppose the sample if you are not going to take from the general population to whom you are going to generalize your findings, uh, the research design is very weak or you are going to do only in a single setting uh, instead of multiple settings uh, or limited control over your extraneous variables which can affect your uh, study very widely or vastly and poor implementation of the treatment protocol the important points what you have to consider is describe the de delimitation in detail but you have to describe it in concise term detail means you should not write paragraph paragraph even if you are writing a you know only one line statement you used to write for each point delimitation but that itself will be telling about the study uh, detaily okay so explain reason for not considering certain parameters or characteristics of the study why you have not considered that also you should you should be able to justify it mention why a particular delimitation is considered for a particular uh, research study then while stating delimitations reason for not including some parameters uh, uh, that also should be clearly explained and also the impact of each delimitation on the findings and conclusion of the study also to be included so each delimitation you have said no what impact it is going to have on the final conclusion of the study or findings of the study so examples of delimitation sometimes you can tell the study is delimited for a period of one month the study is delimited for only um uh, for, for only diabetic patients attending uh, um, general hospital government general hospital in Chennai uh, or uh, suppose you can delimit uh, only who are willing to participate in the study and uh, the study is delimited for patients who are taking uh, only pain supplement Poviron, like that and all you can uh, tell so here examples of delimitations uh, so limits on sample selection and technique uh, due to non probability or uh, non availability sorry due to non availability of sampling frame study was non random sampling technique study used what uh, non random sampling technique to maintain homogeneity of the sample selection the study included only a, uh, treatment uh, seeking sample uh, 
from outpatient department and those are meeting the specific criteria that is inclusive criteria what has been said by the researcher then limit on extent of geographic areas from which data are collected due to large number of potential participants in the population the current study focused on members located only at a particular district for example if you want to do a um, thing on vaccination uh, or program about corona so that time what you can do you cannot uh, do for it on a whole uh, thing so particular district uh, uh, for example chittur district for example uh, um velu district like that uh, you can uh, select a particular district and you can do it limit of uh, use of trials uh, use of tools for the study so what tools or instruments like uh, either questionnaire you have used or survey you have used or interview schedule you have used that you can tell in order to deal with the collected data the study utilized a survey tool with multiple choice questions and not an open ended question so survey tool you are collecting by means of uh, multiple choice questions but you are not uh, using open ended questions so this and all you can uh, very clearly put in your delimitation hope this video has given a detailed explanation about delimitation and it is more than for a five mark question you can answer it very well my previous videos link as i have told earlier i have given in description box suggested in the card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist nursing research and statistics for bsc nursing students thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel